please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Click Sound. Now steal now my steal microphone, my microphone. Yes, sir. Okay. See you on the YouTube for a long time. I'm on this um, B minus group, so okay. I'm gonna head out Go. in like five minutes. But I want to do this if you sure. can come back for that. Yeah. I have a S1000 single R, the new one. Yep. You can't really change the DVC, like if you see like minus three, minus two, there's only uh, preload you can adjust. There's road and dynamic and right. preload. So and I don't know how much you can change on that, but I still want to do that. Quite a bit. Yeah. So okay. the preload sets it to your weight. Okay. Then the damping uh, settings of dynamic road, etc. dynamic pro sets it to your ability. Right. So we look at each and each time you come back, okay. we do tire pressure and then look at modes okay. and changing modes. Do you want to come back maybe go. 20 or something? Like that? Go, 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 go. Okay. Just bring the bike back hot. Okay. So helmet and gloves in the chair for me. Okay. So how long have you had well, the bike? Uh, less than a year or so. The fork oil, everything's new, you know. Uh, okay. Eight months, I want to say. Yeah. Okay. What's your weight? 155, and Okay, and this is a 20... 22. 22. Right. Okay, take a seat. Let's go ahead and turn the ignition on so DDC works. Yep. All right. Okay, feet up, hold the bars. This is in uh, road <laughs> suspension. You're in road? It's in road, right. It's not right. the hard Yes, okay. All right, so 80 to 120, so 40 in the front, nice and soft. Five, 60, okay, dismount for me, I'm clear. Yep. 60. Fifty-seven five. so 25 plus static, okay. So on preload, the back is very strong. Okay. So let's see, usually from the factory, they deliver with zero. Right, I'm pretty sure the front is also zero preload. Pre Should be. Yeah. So I always double check. Yeah. And it's all the way off. Okay. So I will always go a quarter turn in, yep. just to keep it off the end of the stroke so nothing binds. I see, yeah. Can I get that? No. 12 and 13. Same all the way at the end. Two faces in. Yep, all the way at the end. Okay. One and two. Okay. All right, take a seat. Feet up. Uh, the, the, the recoil off the reef. Okay, are you gonna ride right now? Yeah, yeah. I'll remember, I'll do this. So when you come back, it'll be on here. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll just leave my phone here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I can't read that. Chinese? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, it's Chinese. Okay, so let's go ahead with the dash. Yeah. So we know where we are, and we know that the bike is very bouncy. Okay. So suspension-wise, you're in road yep. and one rider. Right. So we know that that is hard in the back and very soft in the front. So if we change, to two riders, uh -huh. just to see. That'd be hard in the back, right? That makes the front a lot more stable. Okay. And a lot stiffer in the back. 
So we know that that setting is going to be too hot even for the racetrack with you. Okay. So yeah. let's go ahead and reselect. Uh, so we want to go back. Dynamic. To dynamic next. Uh -huh. Yep. Because okay. dynamic is instant. A mode programmed for you, and you right. don't get a choice. Uh -huh. I do think the front is a little bit soft. I mean, this is my first track day. I, I break the fuel tank. I was like, this is like so soft compared to our. Oh yeah. This is so dynamic uh -huh. rebound control is much right. better. Okay. And much better in the back. Okay. Let me check two. 56. Okay, let's go ahead and reset for single rider, so hold down. Okay. There we go. Yep. yep. So, we want for okay. you to be in dynamic, okay. and we want it in single rider. Got you. Okay. Now, if you get comfortable and get quite a bit faster, uh -huh. we would stay in dynamic, and then we will go to two riders. Because it's giving you better braking support right. and better acceleration support combined through the programming. I see. Does that make uh, sense? That's just changing the, the rebound and the compression when I change these things, right? So the, preset the damping uh, is changed via right. the mode, right. and we have dynamic. Mm -hmm. Then the damping gets changed by the number of helmets. Uh -huh. So each one has its algorithm. I see. We've got to find out what's the minimum setting for your weight, uh -huh. and then we have to find out when you're on track, what's right. the minimum setting for your ability. So for this one, we don't have to dial in a specific minus one, minus two, like those DDs. Correct. Right? Okay. So we're so stuck with just a couple of options. Gotcha. Uh -huh. We've got to figure out what your minimum is for you to have fun. And road, one person, is a bouncy castle for a four-year-old, and it's not going to work, because yeah. it's so soft and it's all over the place. Right. So now knowing dynamic, single rider is your minimum value, that really helps. Okay. We'll do two sessions on this setting. Yep. Have you set tire pressure? Uh, yeah, it's right now it's uh, 28, 29, I guess, in the back. Okay. And 31 in the front. Okay, like that. Yeah. so that's fine. Yeah. So we should see a gain of plus four, okay. ideally, uh -huh. in 11 to noon. Okay. Because now you're back at the track, you see where you're going, you know where you are, right. your timing is better. And at that point, that'll give us a much better understanding of pressure and what you've got because the dash shows it live. Yep. Okay. So at this point, all we need now is a cable tie on the front fork to okay. show us how much travel you use and then two sessions on dynamic single rider. Yep. Then third session, we're gonna bump to dynamic two and okay. see if the bike is better for braking and more responsive in the corner. I see, okay. Okay. And we have to reload, not change. So right we'll now, we've got to see how much travel you use. We don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're ready to go? I missed the last session um, actually that I'll Sure, track, um, red flag. Yeah, that's been half hour already, so it's not really hot. Because I came off the track 11, I mean 11.30, so it's okay. half hour already. Yep. Feels fine, but I guess, you know, first time here, I'm not really pushing it hard at all. I don't feel the rear has any problem. The, the front dives uh, still a little bit more, I guess. Okay. See the trouble there. Right, so now yeah. we need to add some preload here uh, to overcome that problem okay. so if the structure is soft and the tension on the spring is inadequate for your skill the travel goes to the bottom now we need to make this tighter gotcha okay so now we just go ahead and add more tension to this <laughs> That's okay, okay, which is a good thing, because you're already on bottom. Okay, yeah. So a two rider setting will make the back stiffer, which puts more stress uh, on the front. So my bottom out the front, okay. That's why it's a process. Where are we? Are we ready for that setting? Yes, no, and we weren't.
because you were going so slow, uh-huh. relatively speaking, but you bottom that, I made a, a big adjustment of five turns. Okay. Because if you do get into a situation where you want to push a little more, push a little harder, or somebody does something stupid in front of you and you have to brake harder, I need to make sure you don't go to bottom. Right, so with this, I should feel the front is stiffer. Okay. You should feel that your brakes are stronger. Okay. Because you can brake harder uh-huh. for longer without going to bottom. And if I were to take this thing to right on the street, it's normally right on the street, does that mean it's too hard on the street? So at lunchtime, turn right out of the yeah. gate. Try it out, yeah. Try it out. Okay. So, sometimes for braking, we end up strong on spring, but for damping and settings, the road is fine. Okay, I'll see you later. Yes. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.